Hello everyone and welcome to lecture two of grassallergies.com. My name is Dr. Jason Lee, clinical immunologist, allergist practicing in Toronto, Ontario. In lecture one, we defined what an allergy is, a type of hypersensitivity reaction, type one hypersensitivity reaction by the Gell and Coombs classification. Now, I introduced you to the defenders of the immune system. These are white blood cells. The main white blood cell involved in allergies is the mast cell. The mast cell works either in isolation or with the help of the adaptive immune system to cause allergies. We also learned that allergies is a result of your body mistaking something that is not harmful to you as something that is harmful. Your adaptive immune system helps the mast cell keep reacting to whatever it is that it has misidentified. Let's use grass pollen. The adaptive immune system will produce something called the IgE antibody. The IgE antibody is one of five subtypes of antibodies that your body could potentially produce. Now, when your body produces IgE, these guys go around and attach themselves to mast cells. The next time your body gets exposed to an allergen, let's say grass pollen, the mast cell will actually react even faster and potentially more vigorously to the grass allergy pollen. So this is the bridge between innate and adaptive immunity that we talked about. When a grass pollen hits one of these antibody receptors on the mast cell, the mast cell will commit chemical warfare. The chemical warfare that it creates releases all sorts of things that are designed to neutralize whatever's coming in. It's also designed to alert your body consciously that, hey, there's something going on either in the eye, the nose, or in your chest. So it will cause you to get itchy, watery eyes so that you flush out whatever's in your eye. In your nose, it'll cause you to get itchy, blow your nose, have nasal mucosal dis discharge, or otherwise, aka, snotty nose, to get you to clean out whatever is coming in. A runny nose is also created because it helps flush out whatever is happening. In your lungs, this may manifest as a cough or increased mucus production to try to mop up and clean up whatever is going inside. So, your body sees a grass pollen, thinks it's a foreign invader, like a worm. The mast cell is kind of like homeland security or border patrol. It monitors whether or not something is harmful to you or not harmful. If it thinks it's harmful, it is going to react. In doing the reaction, it releases chemicals. Some of the chemicals released include things like histamine, tryptase, and other things that cause our bodies to itch, causes our blood vessels to dilate, get expand, and it alerts your body that there's something going on. This is why allergies are so annoying, because your body thinks that it's fighting some kind of parasite. It's saying, hey, hey, over here, there is something invading, you better deal with it, because I'm trying to do my best, but I need your help. So in a nutshell, this is a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. It involves the mast cell and IgE, which is a specific type of allergy antibody. In the next lecture, we're going to be talking about more players of the immune system, or as I like to say, the defenders of the immune system. We'll be talking about more white blood cells and how they interact with one another.